Leveling and placing wall units. The screeded surface is one of the easiest and fastest ways to create a smooth level surface for installing wall units. However, there are other methods that can be used which may be necessary given the circumstances of the project. This video segment will discuss the following methods. Number one, directly on a gravel base. Two, on a mortar bed over a gravel base. Three, on precast leveling slabs. And four, on a poured concrete pad. All four methods work well, but each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Let's have a look at each method separately. Number one, on a gravel base. Installing wall blocks directly on a gravel base is a method that is preferred by many for smaller wall sections under 15 feet long, as it simplifies the planning and materials required. The biggest disadvantage of this method is speed. It requires that each block be set into position using a mallet and a small level and depending on the shape of the blocks, this can be time consuming and sometimes difficult. Number two, on a gravel base plus mortar bed. A similar method is mortar set over gravel. With this method, a mortar bed is laid over the compacted gravel and then each individual unit is pressed and tapped into a level position using a mallet and a level. While well, the disadvantage of this method is that you need to spend time mixing the mortar, it allows for rapid leveling of basic or unusual shaped blocks. The mortar bed also provides a slight bridge between units which can help minimize potential settlement of individual blocks. Number three, on precast leveling slabs. Precast leveling slabs allow you to install at a much faster rate than individual wall units on gravel. Especially on a screeded base, the slabs go down quickly and only require small adjustments using a mallet and torpedo level. Periodic checks with a long level or laser level will ensure you're staying on track. From time to time you may need to add a little quarter inch chip to make an adjustment. Leveling slabs may seem to take the same length of time as leveling wall blocks, but leveling one slab in place of three wall units translates to a 67% faster installation. As well, slabs are both lighter and easier to level than individual wall units. Leveling slabs can be made from old patio slabs, coping, large pavers laid upside down, or actual manufactured leveling slabs. It's just important that the surface of the slab is a smooth plane. Having a flat concrete surface makes it easy to snap a chalk line for help in aligning your first row of block. Like the mortar bed method, leveling slabs create a bridge preventing differential settlement between wall units. The leveling slab should sit on top of the gravel base extension to help stabilize the wall from rotational movement that can be caused by poor subsoil. Number four, on a poured concrete pad. This can be a very fast method for installing longer walls. When troweled to a fine finish, a four inch thick poured concrete pad has similar properties to the leveling pad made with precast slab units. However, the positioning, forming and finishing must be perfect to ensure a good looking wall installation. Although not required, it's a good practice to adhere the first row of block to the pad using a concrete adhesive. Poured concrete pads may also be a good option if you're already pouring a base pad for a pillar, grill island, or other landscape features. This completes leveling wall units, the third step of wall construction. Please refer to the next training video for additional information about base requirements for pillars, grill islands, and landscape features.